Three reasons why machine learning can be really difficult. Now you might have heard about learn machine learning easy, easy tutorials, five hours tutorial for machine learning for beginners, etc. But in this video, we are going to completely look on the opposite side of it and see why machine learning can be really difficult. Hmm. I am Jay Patel and I have been doing machine learning for quite like around last three years and I've also been doing other development stuff or data structures and algorithms uh, but find out found out that uh, machine learning is I think the most difficult out of all of them and also the data suggests that to get a job in machine learning you require like a five years of experience in IT or in data science. So the jobs for the freshers or just after doing the bachelors is not quite very common. On the other side, the machine learning is quite growing right now and, and there are a lot of opportunities in machine learning as well. And for personally for me, I really like machine learning because you, I, I think you can do a lot of exciting thing with it and make some great applications out of it. So I personally love machine learning for that. So in this video, we are not talking about the negative side of the machine learning, but we are also going to see why, how to overcome that difficulty or how to make the machine learning really simple to understand. And at the end of the video, I am going to share with you some of the great resources from which you can learn machine learning. And if you're just starting out as a beginner, then I will also show you one of the best course I feel that you can do, which does a great job in explaining machine learning for beginners. And it is very simple to understand and learn. So let's get started with this video. Reason number one is it requires mathematics to understand machine learning. Now, mathematics sometimes can be really complicated for some people who don't actually like it or understand it well. Hmm. Now let's see how much mathematics is required for machine learning. So in machine learning, you require five topics of mathematics and they are statistic, calculus, linear algebra, matrices, and probability. Now you must know matrices, the basic matrix operations like multiplication, addition of matrices, or transpose of the matrices because while doing machine learning, you will be dealing a lot with the matrices and linear algebra. Also, you must have a basic understanding of the equations, equations of line, certain equations of curve, exponential equations, logarithms, etc. So all the time while you are doing machine learning, use of linear algebra or the expressions or the equations or the matrices are going to be there. And now for the calculus, I think you uh, require the basic understanding of the differential calculus to how the differentiation works, how to do the differentiation, uh, differentiation of exponential curve, logarithm, chain rule in differentiation, what does the differentiation represent, etc. I think that will be enough, uh, at least while you are doing the beginners. I have not encountered integral calculus used in uh, machine learning, but I have heard that it is used in certain higher applications of machine learning as well. But for now, I think differential calculus will be enough for you. And then you just require the very basic understandings of the statistics like variance or mean, etc. And basic understanding of probability. So you won't require like a year or many months to understand these concepts and then start learning machine learning. But just the basics of all these concepts will be enough for you. It will require like a couple of hours or a couple of days to for you to learn that. And if you want me to make videos on it, like the specific topics of mathematics for specifically for machine learning, then let me know in the comment section below. Reason number two why machine learning is difficult is that some models of machine learning can be really complicated to understand. Like I, while I was beginning to learn machine learning, I felt like this is so easy. I can learn this. I love this. Machine learning is very easy. But then after I keep doing it, keep doing it, I encounter with certain models for sequences, like for text or for other computer vision models. Then I realized that it is not that easy. And I felt like, Yeah, so you can see from this picture that sometimes the models are very complicated to understand and sometimes you don't know how this is going there and how it is actually going to predict and how it is how the model is going to learn. 
So what do you do in that case? Well, I have found out that uh, the best way to understand a very complicated model is to go small, like just understand the one layer of the machine learning model or just the one unit of that model and to see and see what does that unit or that layer does then understand the other layer or other unit of that model and then see what it does and then like from small 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 pieces combine everything large and it will be easy to understand that and another great part out of it is that once you understand that model you can make a very cool applications with it for example using one model i have made like the chatbot which was predicting very well you can see from this picture how well it is predicting uh, or how well it is responding and i have made emoji fire which gives uh, emoji to a certain text. I've also made a machine translation or English to French translator and certain things like that. While also dealing with other complicated uh, models like for the object detection in computer vision, we made a great application to detect objects for the blind people. So, so there are many applications that you can make and they can be very useful and very cool to make as well. Reason number three why machine learning can be difficult is that sometimes you might require to go through the research papers for machine learning or to understand that model. And research papers are not very fun to read. They're not, uh, they're not good for binge watching or binge reading, but they are a bit uh, boring. But let's say if you want to make certain applications or certain projects, which you do not know what kind of models uh, you are going to use or how to implement that model, then you might require to study those research papers. Uh, the research papers will have everything from where the model is, can be used, uh, how to implement the model, how the model works and why the accuracy of that model is very high. Let's say you already have some model but its accuracy is less, then you might require to study research papers of some other models which provide much better accuracy and much better performance. So how do you deal with it? So instead of going through the entire research paper, which I personally do not prefer, what we can do is we can go through some other resources from some other people who might have gone through those research, through those research paper already and or might have known or learned about those models and they are doing a great job explaining it simply in their maybe blog or maybe videos like what I do and those will be much simple explanation and those will be easy to understand. Now I know some of the great bloggers out there which does a great job in explaining machine learning models simple and they are analytics with their towards data science and medium as well. So these three, I have seen that they do a great job in explaining many kind of machine learning models. You will find almost everything out there uh, about data science and about machine learning. We can also study from the Kaggle. Sometimes they also do a great job in explaining. I will put all of these links in the description below. And as promised earlier, I'm going to show you a course which explains machine learning simply for the beginners and based on my personal experience i feel he does a great job in explaining machine learning to be the simplest form i think as possible and that course is also very well recommended so this course is provided by deeplearning.ai on Coursera and it is being taught by Andrew Eng which is a professor at Stanford and he's also a co-founder of uh, Coursera. It, this course is really recommended by a lot of people and you will see that this is probably the first course that most of the people take while they're beginning their journey in machine learning. I highly highly recommend this course. You can check out this course. I will also provide a link in the description for this course and hey I also upload new machine learning videos every week. I upload tutorials on machine learning and I try my best to make it as simple as possible. So you can also consider subscribing to this channel and learn from my videos if you find it really helpful. So consider subscribing and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your concerns while learning machine learning? And if you are already learning machine learning, how are you learning it? From where are you learning it? Or if you haven't started, how are you planning to learn it? And also you can check out some of my other videos. And for now, I will see you in the next video.